A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 2 verses 13 to 25. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. When the Passover feast celebrated each spring by the Jews was about to take place, Jesus traveled up to Jerusalem. He found the temple teeming with people selling cattle and sheep and doves. The loan sharks were also there in full strength. Jesus put together a whip out of strips of leather and chased them out of the temple, stampeding the sheep and cattle, appending the tables of the loan sharks, spilling coins left and right. He told the dove merchants, "Get your things out of here." Stop turning my father's house into a shopping mall. That's when his disciples remembered the scripture, "Zeal for your house consumes me." But the Jews were upset. They asked, "What credentials can you present to justify this?" Jesus answered, "Tear down this temple, and in 3 days I will put it back together." They were indignant. It took 46 years to build this temple and you are going to rebuild it in 3 days but Jesus was talking about his body as the temple later after he was raised from the dead his disciples remembered he had said this they then put two and two together and believed both what was written in scripture and what Jesus had said during the time he was in Jerusalem Those days of the Passover feast many people noticed the signs he was displaying and seeing they pointed straight to God entrusted their lives to him but Jesus didn't entrust his life to them he knew them inside and out knew how untrustworthy they were he didn't need any help in seeing right through them the gospel of the lord Reflections on the Gospel according to John chapter 2 verses 13 to 25 Jesus drove the sheep the oxen out of the temple and then he overturned the tables of money changers What did Jesus mean by this gesture He simply said that God did not want animal sacrifices nor any sacrifice because God's favors cannot be bought We cannot give anything to God because his gifts are completely free. To offer something to God to obtain his blessings is buying and selling or bribing God. He gives his love freely and when we welcome it we are happy. We have nothing to give to God. Jesus never spoke of sacrifices to be offered to God. When he spoke of it he said I want works of mercy not sacrifices. Our liturgies, our songs, our good deeds are a manifestation of our joy of being with the Lord, of our gratitude for the love he showed towards us. But they give nothing to God. Jesus has cast out the sellers and the buyers because they were relating with God as if they were on a business deal at the eight gates of the temple esplanade the levites the sacristans of those days conducted a screening of the people to ensure that the blind the lame the deformed the hunchbacked the paralytics the lepers and the sinners were prevented from entering the temple because they had nothing to offer to god except their own misery weaknesses and their own frailty jesus challenged the priests and the religious authorities that the current sanctuary is obsolete but jesus would raise a new one in 3 days the sanctuary was the central part of the building where the israelites believed that the lord was whoever wanted to meet god should go to his sanctuary but today the function of the ancient sanctuary is finished 
dismantle this temple do away with it why because jesus is the new sanctuary where god manifests himself god shows his face is not in a material temple but in his person it is in jesus where we see the face of god paul tells us remember you forget that the spirit of god dwells in you that the same divine life circulates in you that you are the sanctuary of god in the risen christ the gospel of the lord